Hey there everybody, just wanted to uh, reach out to you, Greybeard here from North Central Texas and uh, wanted to do a quick review of uh, my 09 uh, Road King. So um, I've rode a bagger full dresser for over 20 years. Um, with that being said, um, I left riding full dressers and baggers for a little while and was riding a uh, Heritage Softail um, and, uh, and a Sportster bobber. So, so with that being said, I've gotten kind of used to that style of riding a little bit. Um, I've gotten used to that suspension, the bike, everything about it. Um, so it's, it's, it's been a little bit different riding for me for the last couple of years. So I haven't been on a touring bike I, and, and riding a lot of miles. I haven't really been, uh, you know, doing anything like that in a while. And, um, so anyway, um, I have since then, uh, sold the Sportster Bobber and then from there, uh, I have uh, procured and uh, got this uh, 2009 Road King police bike. Well, uh, I will tell you that this bike is awesome. Um, just, just, just to do a review of a Road King in general, not necessarily the police or model or anything like that, but. Uh, the Road King is a badass bike. Um, I've had the Road King now for about two weeks. Okay. And uh, I've put about 1,800 miles on it. Um, so I feel like I have, you know, kind of gotten my feet wet with it really good and put it to the test. Um, so let's talk about some pros real quick about the Road King and what I've noticed and the take away from this and making the transition back to a bagger. Uh, you know, uh, the so, so some of the pros for me about the Road King is the agility of this bike. Uh, I mean, man, the, the, the way it handles on the road is amazing. Uh... That year model that I have has a 96 cubic inch as well as the six speed transmission combo. And um, there's plenty of power there, man. Um, I've always been a big twin cam nerd and uh, I love twin cam motors. And uh, I think that uh, I would have much rather have had the 103 uh, with the six speed transmission but beggars can't be choosers, right? <laughs> uh, the truth of the matter is, is that, um, you know, uh, my Heritage Softail was a 96 cubic inch with a six speed transmission as well. And uh, I, I loved that bike. Uh, but uh, this Road King Police has plenty of power. Um, man, I, I just, you know, it handles really well on the road. And uh, I would even, you know, go as far to say that because it doesn't have the, the fairings, the batwing fairing or a shark fairing or anything like that, like the street glide or limiteds or uh, road glides, uh, I think it makes the bike uh, uh, totally much more maneuverable. And uh, you can manipulate the bars a little bit better. And you can manipulate the bike better. Uh, I've just, uh, I've just been impressed. Uh, one, um, a couple of cons. So let's talk about some cons. Um, these cons are not really manufacturer related. Um, it's more of uh, me getting the comfort that I need to go down the road. And, and, and to be able to, uh, to, to ride a lot of miles. Um, first con, um, I've got to get rid of those stock bars on that Road King. 
Um, they are making my hands fall asleep again. And see, on my other bikes I've been riding the last couple of years, I had 14 inch ape hangers on that thing, you know? So, with that being the case, you know, it's just a totally different riding position and it's making my hands fall asleep. So, anyway, second con is uh, the seat that it came with, uh, you know, the stock seat. Uh, it needs to be replaced. Uh, that, that thing is just hurting my back and my ass. So, um, those are just a couple of cons about the Road King uh, that, that, I, that I've had. Um, you know, uh, I've got to get those two things taken care of pretty soon. So, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, so that's kind of like my, you know, a little bit of a review I um, mean, the gas mileage is really good on it. Um, I've been averaging um, probably around uh, 200 miles a tank, give or take, you know, um, depending on how fast I was going, riding conditions, headwinds, you know, and all that shit. So, uh, yeah, so, so anyway, it's getting good gas mileage and... Uh, um, I'm just really, really enjoying the Road King, and uh, I guess uh, I know now why they call it the King of the Road. Anyway, all right. Well, there's my two cents on a uh, on a Road King, and just my experience and what I've been going through uh, with this transition, and I'm loving every minute of it, y'all. Uh, this uh, this particular bike, I think. I think I've found the perfect bike for me uh, after riding baggers and uh, soft tails and all kinds of stuff, you know, through the years. Uh, I think the Road King is the one for me, and uh, I think I'm just going to stick with this this model of bike, uh, and um, I really enjoy it. So anyway, all right. Well, listen, this is Graybeard from North Central Texas signing off. Just wanted to. Uh, Give my little shout out to y'all. If you could, do me a favor. Go to my YouTube channel and uh, subscribe. Give me a follow. And uh, go ahead and uh, uh, stay tuned for more stuff coming up. Uh, we've got a lot of things that I'm going to be doing here in the near future. Uh, we're going to be actually uh, installing a, uh, an RV roof here pretty quick. Uh, we're going to be... Uh, working on a uh, RV uh, water heater and uh, some things like that and getting some things like that taken care of on our home. So I'll be documenting that and throwing that out there for you as far as our travels and our shenanigans that we find ourselves doing. So, uh, all right then, well, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, go to the homepage there. Give me a, give me a shout out, subscribe and uh, follow and uh, stay tuned for more. Peace out, guys. Graybeard here from North Central Texas signing off.